Welcome to how to install a garden edging cobble edition. So this is all based off, a, off of a little plan that we've had but for you at home just decide the distance you want your edging to be from your fence line border boundary whatever it might be. Measure off, spray a few dots, you might be able to see ours here and then connect all the dots together so you've got a nice line to follow uh, for when you get to your next stage of the project. Alright so I'm just going to start cutting along our line so you can allow for this when you spray out your line but we like to get a haunching in so something to sort of keep the cobble in place so I'm just coming about 50 mil past where the external of the cobble edge is going to be and then run along with your trusty shovel so the point of this is when you trench out you're going to have a nice clean line to to follow along and then when you backfill you can just bring your topsoil and, and grassy turf whatever straight up to the new cobbles so your next step for installing your cobble edging is install a layer of MOT or hardcore that's what it's referred to in the UK. So again, it, we're not doing anything substantial, but you're looking for between 50 and 75 mil, I'd say. And this is just to ensure nothing's going to sink over time. Again, the cobble is going to be on a full full bed. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you could skip this step if you really want to. But again, in this video, we're just showing you how to do everything perfect, professional, and properly. Um, so yeah, that's your next step. Alrighty, so your next step for installing your cobble garden edging is so you need a nice level line to light to lay to. So you can see it. Hopefully that's all right. So you can see along here we've got the existing slabs. So that sets our height along this way. So Greg's already bedded up for this. We'll talk about the mix very shortly. But then for this run, so this is most likely what you'll have to do at home. Yeah, so when we excavated our trench for the MOT installation, that has sort of pretty much set our line, but you can tweak it ever so slightly. So you can see it follows the line pretty nicely. So all I've done here is weighted down the string line on the existing paving because obviously we're going to meet that height and then down here knocked in a pin and then I've just leveled that about 20 mil above the turf so again if you're starting from scratch you can choose all your heights or your datums or your levels that's worked out just over turn so turn of the bubble back up this way but we need to really yeah so really we need to follow the height of the existing lawn otherwise at one end you're going to end up with the bed and the, co the edge of the cobble visible which isn't ideal so we're looking for 10 20 mil just above the turf um, just for that sort of visual definition but yeah it's more of sort of a delineation between two areas of the garden but yeah let us know in the comments below what are you using your garden edging for all trenched out MOT's in MOT's been compacted got our string line set up so we're pretty much ready to lay what are we laying on Gregster uh, the Four and one mix, uh, four grit sand, one cement. Lovely. So that's what it should look like. We go for a bit of a semi dry mix. So wet enough where it holds its shape, but still dry enough that when you're tapping in your cobbles, the, the previous ones aren't going to rise. So you want it malleable, but not, not too wet. I know it's pretty hard to understand <laughs> just through the camera but a bit of trial and error you'll you'll figure it out you'll see what we mean if it's too wet you'll you'll know really quickly um but anyway let's crack on oh other little detail you'll see is primer so yes yeah, so this is this helps this helps bond the cobble to the mix so you're going to want to prime every single cobble some people dip them in we find it gets a little bit messy gets all over your fingers and stuff so we just use a big fence brush and then quickly paint it on 
But anyway, enough talking. Let's do some doing. So we've got 10 more joint along the existing paving that will be grouted in and then just a couple of millimetres off our line just so that you're not going to start pushing the line over gradually. You'll be surprised how much it can tweak over a fair distance. And then we're all about the little details here at Matapo. But we also, so you've obviously got your main, your main trowel to get the bed in, shovel, whatever. We do also have one of these little beauties. So obviously we're going to continue running here, but I'll just show you, but it works really well just to haunch in. And then, boom. So the Gregster is an absolute cobble professional. So you may not have one of these tools at home. This is the trusty cobble hammer. <clears throat> However, we don't, he doesn't really use the, the end. You might be able to tell. This has knocked in a few thousand cobbles at this rate, <laughs> by this point. So anyway, I'll let him do a little demonstration, but we don't use the hard metal end because it leaves a mark on the cobble. Well, it depends what stone you're using, but it can leave a mark, especially on limestone, things like that. This is a mint sandstone, so not as much, but anyway, we don't want to leave any dirty marks, so. Any little tips? Um. Yeah, maybe like just if you push it down a little bit first, just to compact the bed and then tap it. Nice. Yeah. And then, so we use, we use we use the back end of the hammer, like I said, just not to mark it. But then you've also got the weight of the of the head of the hammer, so it, it works a bit better. Um, so if you're using really big cobbles or or it's a say a drier mix, you can use. Um, a lump hammer, but you can also use a rubber mallet if you don't have something like that. But yeah, I'd recommend using the the timber end just so you don't mark up all your cobbles. So you could use something like this if that's what you got at home. It's obviously got a bit more weight to it, and it's still got the timber bottom. Anyway, these are tiny little details. You you can interpret them yourself, but this is how we like to do it. Anyway, like I said before, let's get doing. So your final stage for the cobble edging is to grout or joint. You can do that with any material that you'd like. Our personal preference is flow point. We're big proponents of flow point. So here's the edging that we've been showing you. Here's the finished article. Boom. So we love flow point because it, it's just bomb proof. It goes absolutely rock solid. But yeah, there's your finished article. So we're going to be flow pointing this side today another cobble edge but yeah depending on your skill set um, and experience you might want to use other jointing methods um, but yeah that's pretty much we'll show you a little bit of us flow pointing but that's pretty much the end of the video um, and of course along your edge so you can see we've cut the haunch back fairly tight and then just fill with topsoil, seed, and that's your garden edge. Finished, perfected. As you can see we've got a pebble finish this side. Born. 
straight delineation. Alright, so the flow point's in, you can see it's a fairly messy process, it can be a bit stressful if you're not used to it. So like I said earlier, if there's other jointing, grouting compounds, products that you're more comfortable with, they might be the ones to go for. So the process is pretty much get, get your flow point in, and then as it's such a small area, we just wash boy it off. So it'd be a series of cleans. And then rinse your sponge and repeat the procedure until it's looking like this. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that instalment of the how-to series. Thank you very much for watching. Anything you'd like to add, Greg, sir? No, sir. Cobbles. Cobbles. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for watching that installment of the how-to series, how to cobble edge. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment below. We will sh be sure to get back to you. Check us out. Check, <laughs> check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Um, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.